This one's gonna be a bit more of a challenge because, uh, the object's round. But it's a trackball. It's a trackball from, uh, a trackball mouse. Um, mostly made by Logitech. Well, at least the ones I like, but I get in focus. Like, this is a blue one. Holy cow. Huh. It's literally just. Just looks. See, can I get any more focus? There we go, that's better. Oh, that looks a lot different than it did like five seconds ago. I have another one, um. I can be honest, I, I lost it a second ago, so I got. Uh, I'll be back with the other one, but like, whole after I finish this one, but yeah, holy cow, like that looks almost like it, uh, it looks like it almost broke at some point, like it was made out of glass and then like partially started breaking but didn't fall apart break, holy cow, that's just a, a plain blue one with nothing on it. I have the other one, um, it's not under a microscope yet, but, okay, let me just, first, see, it looks a lot different, let's just, uh, almost looks like, okay, that's just, that's crazy, this is an older trackball, it's for a trackball mouse, back when they didn't have wireless ones. So it was a while ago, but that looks great. It almost looks like a crystal or something. Like something you'd see in StarCraft. You know, if you look at the in-between textures. If you look at the textures on the black part, it's not so much, but the red part looks crazy. And this just looks completely smooth if you look at it without a microscope. Interesting to see how so many things that look smooth really are not. This one's like almost looks like a perfect example of one, but. Holy cow. And it's just, it's, looks like the, the black spots are, are the same all the way over. But just the fact that the ins, not the inside, the uh, red part looks like that is just amazing. I use uh, for two uh, trackballs.